Residents of the Federal Capital Territory will have to present their tax clearance certificates for certain transactions and services required from government ministries as well as departments and agencies. Commercial banks as well, if they don't do this, they risk sanctions and possible conviction with a 5 million naira fine or three years imprisonment. Now, this was revealed at a town hall meeting on the demand and verification of tax clearance certificate by MDAs, SDAs and commercial banks organized by the FCT Internal Revenue Service. Tejesu Adoye has more. This special town hall meeting brings together stakeholders and individuals residing within the FCT. The purpose is to guide and provide an insight on why there is need to demand and verify a tax clearance certificate and a prerequisite for rendering and receiving services or performing various transactions. The FCT IRS had earlier released a circular in November to update FCT residents on the new tax requirement, as well as penalties for defaulters. Demand and verification of TCC, of course, tax clearance certificates, affects specific transactions required by individuals, residents, of course, from MDAs, SDAs, and financial institutions and other institutions uh, within the city. Consequently, the failure to demand and verify a tax clearance certificate presented by an individual is liable to sanctions and possible conviction with a fine of 5 million naira or three years imprisonment or both fine and imprisonment according to the law. But Residents and relevant stakeholders are advised to adopt voluntary compliance rather than forcefully being compelled to do so. It must however be admitted that if we are able to continue to provide world-class infrastructure for the city, we need a greatly improved revenue base, which can only be attained by robust tax policy, where all who call FCT home also contribute taxes to her development. On a daily basis, a lot of people, for the past two years, or probably three years, people have been flocking, moving into FCT. What we had in the past in FCT is not what, what we have at the moment, it's quite different from the FCT we had in the past. The FCT IRS encourages individuals and corporate bodies to pay their taxes for the growth and development of the FCT, as well as the progress of its inhabitants. Tijesu Adiwe, News, Abuja.